Hello and welcome to my channel, Mr. Glad. Today we're doing the pick a card reading for the month of February 2024. So if you need to pick a card readings, take a look at the three piles of cards and see which one you feel drawn to and then you can skip ahead to your reading and I'll leave the timestamps in the description. Um, I've placed some objects on the cards to help you with making your decision. So for pile one we've got a shell, pile two we've got an amethyst crystal and pile three we've got the candle. So I'll give you a moment to make your choice and then you can skip ahead to your reading. Hello pal one, we've got Capricorn energy. So Capricorn is, the energy of Capricorn is a serious energy, is planning ahead, is creating realistic goals. Capricorns are disciplined and we've also got the Ten of Cups which is indicating long-term commitment and so I feel that this energy you are thinking ahead making decisions about your future or planning what you want to do with your future. I feel this is a good time for your career and also relationships. I feel that you are making progress, you are planning ahead you're making progress got the eight of cups here which indicates walking away from something and I feel that some of you are going to be letting go of something in order to get something better. You may be walking away from a job in order to get something better, um, you may be starting something new that you're feeling more enthusiastic about, something that's more promising for you. It could be that it could be a relationship or friendship, uh, there's something that no longer feels right for you or it could, it could even be a belief or a mindset there's something that that doesn't feel right for you anymore and you're walking away from this and walking towards something better i've seen bottled up emotions as well i feel like this is something that's been on your mind for a while something that you've been thinking about doing and it now it feels like the right time you're re you're ready to walk away you're ready to start focusing on something new and you will feel a sense of release when you walk away from this situation. I'm also seeing support around you. There are people who will support and help you through this um, transition in your life. Capricorn can represent authoritative figures and I feel like there is an authoritative figure that is causing you some problems during February. It could be that there's someone from your job and this is why you decide to leave. Um, it could be a family member, someone in your life who is, uh, who's got this authoritative, assertive energy is causing you problems and there's some disagreements. And this is going to lead you more towards questioning yourself, questioning what you're doing currently and making a change in your life. And I feel like you are following your intuition, doing what feels right for you. You've got two cups cards and the cups can relate to emotions, to intuition. I feel like you are listening to your intuition, you are moving away from the situation, questioning authority um, or questioning establishment somehow. There's something that no longer feels right for you and you're questioning it more and you are making this transition. But there is going to be support around you, people that love you are going to support you. We also got the moon's energy and, and the moon is also connected to emotions and intuition so there is heightened intuitive feelings during February you are feeling more emotional as well you are ready to make this change you're letting go of something it could be a move otherwise as well it could be that you've had enough of this environment this situation you're moving or you're making this change and your intuition is guiding you towards this I feel like for some of you there could be problems with the family as well and spirit is saying to Wait until the situation calms down. Try not to say anything in the heat of the moment. Wait until things settle down in order to speak your truth and to work on healing the situation. If you are in a relationship or if there is someone that you are interested in romantically, um, I feel like this is a good time for talking about your feelings. There is a stronger emotional connection during February. I feel like there is someone who is showing their emotions more to you, showing their feelings. We have got Valentine's Day this month, so so this could be part of it as well, that um, you may be 
taking advantage of this day and and celebrating it and using this as an excuse to get closer and to express your feelings to each other. We've got the Three of Wands and the Three of Wands um, is indicating movement. You're ready to make a change. I'm seeing lots of I'm seeing action this month, you're leaving something behind, you're waiting for something new, you're waiting for your ship to come in, as you can see on this card here, you're waiting for this new opportunity, or there may be something that you are feeling guided towards already, but I feel like there's something new beginning, so, and there is a reason why you're being guided away from the situation, because there's something better to come for you. You've got disruption card, and I feel like there is something that's taking off paths, so you are letting go of something and and it's causing disruption in your life, but have faith because there's something better that's coming. And I feel also feel like there could be some disruptions with plans this month as well. There could be plans being cancelled or rescheduled. There is there is some disruption of plans. I feel like there's a reason behind this, so something is being cancelled or rescheduled. Um, but you'll see when you look back why this was meant to be delayed. It may not be the right time. I also feel like you've got to be quite flexible this month because of um, plans being disrupted as well. You've got the Earth Fairy and so the Earth Fairy is very grounding energy. The Earth Fairy also connects to our physical health, our well-being and so I feel that you are listening to your body as well as listening to your intuition this month. You are looking after yourself, looking after your well-being, letting go of a stressful situation and doing what feels right for you. You are being guided to take time to ground yourself. Also feel like going into nature is going to be very grounding for you, very healing. You are trying to create more balance in your life. You're letting go of this stressful situation, taking some time for yourself. Listen to what your body needs, it'll tell you what it needs. Spirit is saying out of balance, so it could be that there's some kind of imbalance with your well-being, with your health. So and you, uh, listen to your intuition, um, because it'll guide you on what you need. So it may be that you haven't been feeling yourself lately, and it could be that you need a certain vitamin, mineral. Um, it could be that you need more rest. But um, pay attention to what your body is telling you. Uh, it may just mean that you need to slow down and take time to to ground this month tranquility so you know, i want to put this at the end here so i feel like you are doing this um in a way you're doing this healing and you're finding peace you're letting go of the stressful situations you're looking after your well-being and then there is this sense of tranquility you're feeling at peace you're feeling at ease there's less stress on you i'm also seeing with these waterfalls that there's going to be this release of emotions. Something has been on your mind for a while and you've been feeling anxious and worried about it but now you're ready to move on and you're able to let go of these emotions and you're feeling a sense of release now and you're opening up more as well to the people that you love. I also see this outpouring of um, appreciation or love for other people. I feel like you are being more open about your feelings. It could be a relationship where you're being more open or you may be more open with friends, with family, uh, showing people your appreciation for them. So your crystal for this month is Amazonite and Amazonite is connected to the heart chakra. It is a gentle energy and it helps us open up to love as well. So this is a good crystal for you to work with this month. I feel like there is going to be more gentleness, more love around you as the, as the month goes on. You're being kinder to yourself as well. You're being gentler, more loving towards yourself, you're doing what feels right for you and by working with this crystal it will help you to balance your emotions and to um, bring more stability and gentleness into your life. Thank you for watching Power 1. Hello Power 2, so you've got the chariot and we've got the Wheel of Fortune so there's a lot of movement this month. The Wheel of Fortune can indicate sudden changes also it can indicate good fortune as well and I feel like there is going to be something uh, something happening quite suddenly this month and we're, we're seeing the um, the chariot with um, lots of movement so with these two cards it feels like it's very positive energy that you're moving towards something better 
and um, there's more luck um, coming to you. We've got the four of wands as well, which can indicate an achievement, a celebration. And with the challenge card, there is going to be challenges, there is going to be some obstacles over to overcome, but you, I feel like you are going to overcome these obstacles. There is going to be a positive outcome of this situation. I feel like some of you, there's some doubt. You're really questioning whether you're good enough. It may be something that you're something that you really want, and you may feel like you're not good enough. You may feel that it's never going to happen. Um, but I am seeing a positive outcome with this situation during February. Spirit is saying to have more faith in yourself because I feel that your lack of confidence is holding you back. They're guiding you to remind yourself of why you're working towards this goal. Know that we're always evolving, we're always improving. There is a sense of inadequacy. You're feeling that you're not good enough. You're feeling that you're, you've got, you may have some imposter syndrome. And if you look back, you'll see how far you've come. You'll see how much you've progressed. And there is something positive coming to you. And Spirit is saying that it's coming to you for a reason. They're saying that they're saying that you are worthy of this. I'm seeing positive recognition. And I see you celebrating your successes, your achievements this month. I also feel like you will be able to heal situ negative situations. If there's an argument, disagreement, some, some negative situation in your life that's been on your mind recently, I feel like you are going to be able to heal this and overcome the obstacles. You may be waiting for an opportunity to heal this situation and you will get this in February. I feel like for some of you there's someone that you've been waiting to hear from and they will get back to you during February and there will be an opportunity for you to heal and for you to talk properly. I also feel like it's a good time for abundance and good luck. I'm also seeing positive results as well. Some, some of you may get a letter, an email, um, something that's coming to you, um, someone contacting you or some information coming to you that's really positive, something that you want, something you've been wishing for and I'm, I'm seeing um, good news around this. Remind yourself that you're worthy of this, that you are meant to receive this um, because some of you may be doubting yourself, maybe you feel like you're not ready for this, you may be talking yourself out of it. I'm also seeing new people come into your life because 11th house can indicate groups of people working with other people and I feel like there's going to be you are going to be connecting with people who are on your wavelength you are going to be connecting with um, more like-minded people um, it could be that there's a new opportunity coming for you and you meet some interesting people through this it could be something new that you're joining you're making new friends but there's going to be um, more people coming into your life I'm also seeing more creativity, more inspiration as well. Um, you're talking to different people, like-minded people and sharing ideas and you are going to um, feel more inspired, feel more supported as well. I feel like for some of you there is a situation that's causing tension but you are going to be able to heal it so it could be that this there could be a relationship, friendship um, or some other situation in your life where you, there has been a disagreement falling out and it's created some tension but you are going to be able to talk about it and see some progress. Letting go. I feel this was good. this is going to help you with manifesting because it's something you're worried about. You keep telling yourself I'm not going to get it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be successful. But a spirit is saying that you will be able to manifest these positive results by letting go of these worries, by trusting that what is meant to be will happen and this will help you to get results more quickly as well. I feel like some of you are getting very anxious as well and, and Spirit is saying to let go of worries. I feel like there's something, situation that's not as bad as you think it is, it's on your mind, you're worrying about it all the time but during February, I'm seeing some positive energy around this. We will be able to resolve or work through this situation. Communication, so communication is going to be very important as well for you. There is going to be positive communication with people around you, healing situations through talking and also connecting with new people, like-minded people. And you're also going to be receiving positive news information. So communication is very important. I also feel that 
also Spirit are guiding you to talk about yourself more confidently um, because it may be that you are putting yourself down too much or you're not praising yourself enough. If there is something you're applying to, make sure that you communicate in a more confident way that you highlight your achievements, highlight your strengths, show, uh, show confidence in how you communicate and you will find these opportunities come to you. Courage Unicorn, so you are finding more confidence in yourself, more courage, because the unicorn is very magical and you will realise that life is magical, that you can attract these these opportunities and good things happen, but you've got to have more confidence in yourself. I feel like that's an important message for you at the moment. And your crystal for this month is fluorite, so fluorite helps us with balancing our emotions, so this is a good crystal to work with if um, you are feeling very emotional, if you want to uplift your your mood as well. And I also help you with letting go of anxiety. There is a lot on your mind at the moment and Spirit are guiding you to let go. They are guiding you to make time to relax as well, give yourself time to recharge. You may need a change of scenery this month to help you with letting go of your worries. You may want to go somewhere that, somewhere that makes you happy or spend time with people that make you happy to help you with letting go of your worries. Thank you for watching Pile 2. Hello Pile 3. So you've got a Piscean energy um, in February and you've also got the King of Cups which is connected to the water element. So you may be feeling more emotional than usual this month and there is a focus on healing as well, healing emotions, releasing emotions. I feel like the last few months have been quite overwhelming for you and in February you are processing these emotions and healing them. I feel like you're ready to move on to something new, you're releasing these emotions, working through them and you're ready for a new chapter in your life. You are become more aware of what you need to heal, what you need to let go of. You've also got the Three of Cups and the Three of Cups is about celebration and so I feel that there is going to be more socialising during February, there is going to be there's going to be a celebration. I feel like the end of 2023 was quite difficult, quite challenging for you, but in February, you're starting to feel stronger. You're doing inner work, and you're feeling stronger, and you're ready for change. You got the Three of Cups, which can indicate socialising, celebration, and so I do feel like you're socialising more. There is more support around you. I feel like recently you've been quite bored or you've been um, feeling a bit down and in uh, in February is, there's more uplifting energy. Even though you're still doing this healing, this inner work, I feel like there is that also there's more joy, more celebration and you're spending more time with the people that you love. And I feel like there's a celebration or a happy event for you during February as well. You are going to be able to spend time with people that you love. I'm also picking up on a motherly energy because you've got the Empress and this can relate to a motherly energy and I feel like there's someone around you, if it's not a mother it could be, some, it could be someone else who has this motherly energy and there is support and love coming from this motherly energy. Um, I feel like for some of you there needs to be healing to do with the, the mother, something needs to be healed relating to the mother. You've got the 10th house which is relating to career, um, reputation and I feel that there is more recognition. You've got a celebration here during February and I feel like there is something that you're being recognised for. You're, um, there's some kind of success for you during February and you're feeling happy, uplifted, you're spending time and celebrating with people that you love. There is someone or more than one person that's showing appreciation for you during February. Also with the Empress, I feel like there is more creativity as well. You're feeling a need to um, express yourself more this month and you're finding other ways of expressing yourself. You may choose something, doing a creative activity, you may choose writing, there's something that you want to do that will help you with expressing your feelings and your emotions. It's going to be very healing for you. I also feel like some of you are coming into alignment with your purpose. You are uh, doing more reflecting at the moment and you are thinking more about your purpose. Or it could be 
that you are thinking more about how you can do something that's related to your purpose. You may already know what you want to do or what you should be doing and you are seeing some, starting to see some progress towards this. I am getting the number three. It is going to be important for you during February. Um, because Spirit is saying, we're seeing good things happen in threes. So it could be that there is going to be three happy positive events for you, or it could be that something positive is happening and to do with the number three, it could be a, the, number, the date the third, the, the 13th, something to do with the number three, which is going to be very lucky for you. You've got the lion, so the lion represents courage and strength and you are becoming um, stronger. I feel that you are ready to let go of the past. You are understanding now what um, what's been holding you back and you've, you're doing this healing work and you're feeling stronger and ready to make changes. There's a lot of inner growth happening for you at the moment. The frog. So again, the frog is relating to emotional baggage and, and cleansing clearing so there is going to be um, so you are doing a lot of this inner work clearing out letting go clear out the past not just symbolically not just with emotions i feel like there's also clearing out of the home as well you may be getting rid of um rid of things you may be doing a, a spring clean this month and it's changed up the energy around you you're feeling more positive also the frog can represent abundance and I feel like there is more opportunities for abundance around you. You are seeing more possibilities. Um, I just feel like there's, there's, there's a more positive outlook this month. You've had some struggles during the last few months, but you are feeling more positive, more optimistic at this time. You've got the, the, no, the novice, and the novice is like the fool card in the tarot. The novice represents innocence and starting a new curiosity. And I feel like you are being pulled towards, you are being pulled into a new direction. Um, you are thinking more about your purpose and you are being guided towards something else. Um, it may be that you already know what you want to do and you are starting to work towards this. But you feel like there's change coming. There's something new that you know is coming into your life and you're feeling curious and excited about this. And spirit of guide to be patient with yourself. It will take time for you to find your way. I also feel like some of you are doubting yourself too much. You are worrying that you don't have enough experience or knowledge. And I feel like knowledge, you, you are going to be guided towards knowledge, education this year. There's, if there's something at the moment that you want to learn and it's on your mind, then this is confirmation that you are going to be guided towards um, what you're meant to be learning this year during the next few months i feel like there is going more focus on learning the crystal for you to work with this month is lapis lazuli so lapis lazuli is connected to the third eye um, it's a very psychic stone it's, it's also connected to wisdom as well to knowledge so again this is this sign with um with knowledge and also they seem to trust yourself trust your own inner knowledge I feel like you need to trust yourself more. You know what you're doing, you're on the right path, your intuition is guiding you. Also, this is a crystal of uh, leadership as well, so they're saying to take charge, have confidence in yourself. You may want to work with this lion energy to find your strength. And they're also saying to try not to dwell too much on the past because you may be regretting certain choices or feeling bad about about making mistakes in the past and um, looking too much at the past and they're guiding you to look at the past as a learning opportunity you've you've learned a lot from the past you've become stronger now and and you've been given these lessons for a reason to help you to become the person that you're meant to be so try not to try not to look too much in the past because to see it as an opportunity to learn and help you to as a way for you to, to evolve because you are heading in this new direction now there is something new that's beginning for you thank you for watching pal 3